Hello. I uploaded the newest version of Farm Life Expanded earlier, and uh, while I was testing the link, I figured I'd make a short video on how to install mods. So basically, after you get uh, the link to the mod that you want to go to, for this uh, example, I'd go to the download button here, and for Windows, I want the zip file. Tested this link earlier, so it will show up here. You can just delete that. I'm using Mozilla Firefox, so this is how you do it with that. It shouldn't take too long, it's about 580 megabytes. So the next thing I do is I'll right click this, I'll open containing folder, I'll go to the file that I just downloaded, I use 7-zip so I'd right click it, if you don't have 7-zip you can just use this extract all and select the location that you want to put it in, but for me, this I find this easiest for me, I open my archive, I know what folder I want, it's this mod right here, I've already prepared my dedicated server and my client what I'll do for that is I'll make a copy from my original and I'll place it someplace else I'll make my mods folder double click this come back to my download grab my file drag and drop I'll repeat that for the client as well And that's it to double check just uh, make sure that when you go into your mods folder all mods will always have this mod info XML file right here plus the rest of the folders and files that it needs In my case I added my credits I'm not sure that the mod XML is needed anymore and still need to research that but regardless it's not hurting nothing um, Okay, so the rest of this video is all going to be just me starting up my server just to make sure there's no errors. What I'm going to do here is I'm going to change my server config file so I can get a new map. I'll just change this to uh, 10. Come back to my batch file, start up from there. I won't show full startup of the client because that's going to add probably another five minutes to the video, and I'm already running over what I wanted this video to be. So. I think I have this set up for server window to come up once it's started. All right, there we go. you made it this far I hope it was a, at least of a little bit of help I 
You know, I see this question asked a lot. I'll be posting that link here in a little bit on the forums for anybody that's interested in wanting to try this out. I'm also going to put this video on my YouTube channel obviously since it's going to be hopefully some help to somebody it shouldn't take too much longer to finish start up here I don't anticipate any issues whatsoever again I've been testing this for the past couple days and most all of this evening I haven't tested everything yet there's still a couple of animals that I need to test um, a lot of the plants need to be tested still for alpha 19 I don't think they're gonna have any problem they're still following the thumb pimps growing method so I don't see why there would be but you never know Okay, so this world file right here is uh, because I generated the map with nitrogen. You can see the test, the uh, change I made for test 10. There you go. Full server started up. No errors. Farm life expanded. Still have to start the client up to be sure, but again, I've been testing for the past couple days, so I don't anticipate any issues. I haven't changed anything. Um, if you made it this far again, hope it was uh, some help and. If you play Farm Life Expanded, I hope you enjoy. I still have a lot to do to it. Um, still working on animation, having problems with that, but uh, I'm learning and um, it's coming along. But thanks for watching and take care.